Have you ever wondered why Jesus actually began his ministry? The truth is we all need Jesus. In today's video, we'll be looking at why Jesus came for you and me. And do we really have need for him? We're going to look at that today, okay, at Jesus. Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotionals, Bible studies, and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see Hello, you soon. welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel. And if you're new around here, kindly click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. We have been going through the word and our desire is to get to finish the Bible in one year. I Like I always say, if you are just starting, okay, just start from where you are. Don't worry about the previous one. Just start right now where you are. The resources that you will find useful, will be, you can find those in the description box. However, if you have any um, comment or you're looking for a particular resource, kindly let me know in the comment section. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as I get the chance. If you um, have been following, today is our day 116. And the theme of our discussion today is, do you need Jesus? We all need Jesus, definitely. <laughs> we all need Jesus. Okay, so um, in chapter 8, because we're reading from Matthew chapter 8 all the way to Matthew chapter 9. In chapter 8, we see all of the beautiful miracles that Jesus Jesus did from healing the leper to the centurion servant to um, Peter's mother-in-law to the healing that was done there to calming the storms um, to um, the demon possessed. How Jesus also um, rebuked, you know, the encounter with the demon possessed and then sending all of those demons to the swine. Now, I, I, when I was going through all of these amazing miracles, it's so it's so unfortunate that our generation most people think that God is done giving and um, doing miracles or Jesus um, is done or give, doing miracles or performing wonders. We kind of want to use science to explain away the, the powerful and supernatural blessings that God gives. Now, science cannot be able to explain how the demon possessed is actually set free. And we'll see a lot of those, okay, a lot of miracles that have to do with health. Uh, mental health issues that have to do with physical health, emotional health. We see Jesus touching on various parts or aspects of the human life. Okay, so if you have not read through the Gospels, I invite you to, you know, to join in and let's go through the Gospels and meet Jesus afresh. Let's meet Jesus afresh on the pages of the Gospels. Okay, the Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the, the, those we will be going through those in a few weeks all right so that is that is very very important that we meet jesus afresh that we see the need and how much and how much love okay why he came to to earth and how much love that he has for us now we all need jesus i like that conversation let's go to matthew chapter 9 the conversation that he had with the pharisees matthew chapter 9 verse 10 to 13 it says and it came to pass as jesus sat at meat in the house Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Now, this is so welcoming. He wasn't segregating. He wasn't discriminatory. He wasn't saying, oh, this, uh, these people are not my people or not my kind. No, Jesus was very welcoming. Okay, we see that his doors was, was always open to the unbelievers, to sinners, and to all manner of people. Um Verse 11 says, and when the Pharisees saw this or saw it, they said unto his disciples, why eat at your master with the publicans and the sinners? Why is your master doing this? Why is Jesus sitting with a sinner like me? Why is Jesus calling out all of those people that are undeserving, un really unqualified? I love the response. Okay, let's go on to the response. Verse 12 says, but when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. And I find myself here. We all need Jesus. We are sick, really. And I don't mean I don't mean the physical body alone. We all need Jesus. With all of this going on in, in the world. With all of the sin and the repercussion and the consequences, 
with all of the thoughts of our hearts, with all of the all of the weight of iniquity. We all need Jesus, really. We all do. Those that are whole. Look at look at the Pharisees. They felt they were all that. They felt they were in line with the with the law of Moses and all of that. But they were reeking and sin soaked. Verse thirteen. But go ye and learn what that means. Go and learn what that means. Go learn. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Now these Pharisees, they were still with the Moses law. They were still with the, all of the sacrifice, trying to cover up sin. But Jesus didn't just come to cover up sin. No, he came to rid us of all of that. He came to remove all the stain and make us whole again and make us blemish free, spotless, without wrinkles that is why jesus came i am filled with all of that but thank god for his grace i'm a sinner saved by grace i am saved by grace we are all saved by grace if we believe and plug into the saving grace of jesus christ we cannot do without him we're all sick in some way okay we were born in the sin soaked world in the sin soaked body Okay, so we all need Jesus. We all do, certainly. With the way the world is right now, if we are really honest with ourselves, if we take a mirror and look at ourselves, really, and look at the... I wish we had a mirror that could look, that could look into our hearts <laughs> and bring out all the things that we think about from day to day, look at our relationships with others and all of that, then we'll realize how much... We need Christ. All right. So he said, for I am not come to call the righteous. Now, if you think you're righteous, if you think you don't, you're all that, you don't need Christ. No problem. He's not here for you. Who is he here for? But sinners to repentance. He has come for you and me so that he can take us away from darkness and bring us into his marvelous light. That is why Jesus came and that is why we need him. All right. So having said that, the ministry of Jesus is all about compassion, all about love. Let's go to verse 35 of Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 all the way to 38. It says, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sicknesses. Every sickness and every disease among the people. Every. Call it whatever name you want to call it. Jesus heals sicknesses. Jesus heals diseases. Don't let the enemy trick you. Don't let they try to tell you, oh, there's one philosophy, there's one thing. Jesus still heals the sicknesses. Jesus still heals diseases. Whatever name, it is irrelevant. Can Jesus heal? Amen. Yes, he can. The Bible says so and I believe. And I have seen Jesus in my own life do all of these miracles. He can heal. He can set you free. He can, he can make a way where there seems to be no way. Going forward, verse 36, it says, But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Verse 37, he says, Then, thus, then said unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous. He said unto his disciples, said he unto his disciples that the harvest really, you know, it, the, the harvest is truly plenteous. There are many people that are desirous of healing touch of Jesus Christ. There are many people that need to hear about the gospel of salvation. There are lots and lots of people who need to have personal encounter with Christ. But the laborers are few. That's the part. That's the that's the theme. That's the snag. The laborers of you. How many of us are willing to take the gospel to far and wide places? How many of us are willing to use our platforms to talk about Jesus Christ? How many really are unashamed of the gospel of Christ? Okay, our salvation is not only meant for Sunday. Our loving God is not only meant for Sunday. It is for every day of our waking life. Because somebody's life depends on it, okay? Verse 38 says, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into the harvest. And that is what we are commissioned to do. While we also talk about Jesus, talk to somebody about Jesus, 
We also pray that people, sleeping giants, wake up, that more of God's children become bold and talk about Christ and live for Christ because the more we live for Christ, the more people will see that light in our lives. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. You can, you're free to share this video. Let me know in the comments how this has been a blessing to you, okay? God bless you. See you in the next video.